Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am headed out. We have our farrier for our girls today. Yesterday we had farrier for our boys. And today the farrier comes for our girls. She comes at 9 a.m. We're always her first call, always. Which I never care about being the first call. I like being the first call until I have to get up and be ready first thing in the morning. I'm looking for my keys. But anyways, um, I just wanted to take a second to tell you guys that last night I got a message from someone that I've been talking to previously and she lost her four-year-old mare to colic. She died at the clinic being treated for colic and it broke my heart for her and she was so broken and so sad because you guys know horses are different. Horses, you spend so much time with them. You guys see how much time we are busy all the time with our horses every single day. There's not a day that goes by that we're not interacting and cleaning and dealing and feeding and playing with and riding and like horses are so different because you put so much effort into them. I tried to help her understand that she could take solace in the fact that she did so much for her mare and loved her mare so much and that that actually does make a difference. And but it really made me think about how that is why I love social media. I love being able to support someone who's going through a really hard time. And I love being able to be there for someone who really needs a helping hand through something that we've gone through ourselves. And it meant a lot for me that she reached out to me and that I was able to be there for her. That meant so much to me. Anyway, that's all. I just wanted to tell you guys that no matter what, even if you're going through a really hard time, there's always light at the end of the tunnel and that every single thing that happens happens for a reason. And even if you can't understand it right this minute, you will eventually understand it. And, and even if you don't, there's always a reason for everything. Life is about growing and learning and moving forward. And every experience is meant to teach us something. So, so no matter what your hard time is, try and stay focused on the beauty in adversity because there is beauty in adver adversity you guys there's beauty in every single situation if you just take a minute to look around no matter what your circumstances are take a minute to look around and see the beauty so we are in the barn trying to get chores done really quick oh goodness sake penny pickle you're a mess so yeah, the horses are so confused. They're like, wait, we haven't even finished breakfast. Come on, Pen. I believe that. Let's go, pony. Okay, come on. I believe my horse will come. You're going to put your horse on the stall, and I'm going to bring her out and put her in the because she's going first. All right, well, let me sweep. Let me sweep the barn first. Come on in, sweet girl. <laughs> I knew she would come. She, she's not coming in. She is. Well, put the dogs away. Oh my God. She will. Put the dogs away. See, here she comes. Here she comes. Hello, Such a good girl. Hello. She stops to say hello. She also needs a brush. She was sleeping last night. I'm back. So Sophie's telling her dog what to do. Good girl. Uh-oh. So Sophie just points where she wants her to go, and she goes. Did you get her from me? Oh, no. Holly. I don't even know where you're going, Holly. Yeah, like training a deaf dog. She doesn't get it from me. <laughs> training a deaf dog has been seriously one of the most rewarding things ever. Hasn't it been so super rewarding? Like, now tell her to go. Tell her to go. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Molly. What can Molly do? Molly's a one trick. <laughs> We've already showed them this a million times. Molly's a one trick woman. Well, she knows more, but like, come here. Spin. Spin in a circle. Yeah. Sit. Oh, no, sit. <laughs> oh. Yeah. She does like the high ten. High ten. Things. <laughs> Not really. So what's her big one trick? She can also lay down. Yeah, well she can do everything. This she can back up. Yeah. Only if you walk back with her. Back up. Back up. Back up. Good job. My dog can dog. hug. My dog <laughs> Sophie's dog talks and hugs. Now the only thing I taught my dog. <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, All right. All right. It's a dog hey, training competition hey. now. Don't, because I would win. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Good girl. <laughs> now. Hey, no, because yeah. I would win. Yeah. Even though my thighs yeah. are burning. I feel like they're both go equally over. trained. Go no. Go. I feel like Ruby I is the least trained. Ruby. She 
she knows how to spin. Oh, actually, that's not true. Spin. Ruby can do stuff Ruby, too. Spin, 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 <laughs> spin, spin, sit. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Sophie and I were talking about how we have way too much Baylor twine. Like, we have so much of it. I think we should just throw it out, but she really wants to keep it and do something with it. And I know I've asked you guys before, like, what can you do with a bucket full of Baylor twine? It's beauty day for the mares. Beauty day. I love beauty day. I love though that we don't have to even tie up our horses to, to groom them. We can just groom them oh, anywhere. She's going first. No, Gracie yeah, moves she's, them around. Gracie moves Gracie around? Gracie moves around. Penny doesn't, she just stands still. Every morning I drink this special concoction that is like, I do too, uh, I drink all mine and it sounds bad tasting. <laughs> Sophie drinks it too. It's like so super good for gut health. And you guys know how important gut health is, but. I don't. <laughs> Sophie's like, Gabby's like, I don't know. Okay, Gabby is filled with Gracie hair, absolutely filled. It's not Gabby. even from Gracie, it's just from the brush. Again, you guys, again. I was wearing this sweater last night. Sophie picked this sweater out before. I saw Gabby. But I before. was wearing it last night. Why are you wearing it two days in a row? Because. Let's see, let's do the test. What color is Laura's sweater? Blue. Blue. Dang it, Mom. <laughs> This is a different color blue. We're all wearing your, blue. Yours is ugly blue. Mine, yeah, mine's not like a pretty blue. Mine has sneakers on. Gabby, Sophie still has her boots on. Well, you're supposed to wear boots. Down. But I remember when we first started vlogging, like way back when the girls were really little, and I used to vlog about this. How there was this weird phenomenon where we would wake up in the morning, and the girls would come downstairs, and they were always wearing like coordinating outfits, and you we never used tried to it. Outfits. I, <laughs> I did, but I never planned. For them to be coordinated it was so weird there's a video of that somewhere out there i think it's weird also that at home we have three different colored horses and at the other barn we have three different colored horses possibly yeah this is well out i just checked my phone you guys and i made a mistake the farrier comes next friday next friday so okay. all this again next friday all this again next friday release the beast I her pylons because she brings me a piece of one that she broke. <laughs> Molly is obsessed with pylons. All right. Well, that was a mistake. That way. I even got up early for this, you guys. That Went to the way. bank for this. Oh, that way. that way. Gracie's taking a snack along for the road. The horses are so confused. They're like, why did we just go in? Here we go. Even Penny's got a snack for the road. The horses are back outside. <laughs> Only to be repeated next Friday. Are you joking me? I literally just brushed this horse. Like brushed her entire body. And now her face is covered in mud. Yeah. I also found this bucket that I'm gonna use to make a uh, water for our chickens. Okay, so oh Sophie and I are gonna take pictures of the little roosters so that we can rehome them. But look at how cute they're getting, you guys. This is Toby. Ew. Seriously though, like look at how cute they've gotten. Because they're not inside now, they've changed so much. Like we see them a few times each day, but we don't pick them up. And they look different with that orange light on them. But they're so adorable. I didn't realize how big he got. I know. Like you can, well I notice every day how much he bigger they are. He like a puffball <laughs> on his head. So Is this adorable. an Easter egg or because the cheeks? Maybe. Does it have cheeks? Yeah, look at it. Those oh. little fluff cheeks. Yeah. See, that one doesn't have it. They say that the fluff cheeks are way bigger on an actual Easter egg. All right, let's get the next one. This is Pickles, and he is one of my favorite breeds. You know that big fluffy breed? Look, look at how cute he poses for the camera. <laughs> Chickens are so underrated, you guys. Like, they're so adorable. They're so cute. Who does photo shoots with their chickens? <laughs> Us. Sophie says this was our very first chicken ever, the one, first one that hatched. And she really <laughs> loves him and wants to keep him, but he is not my favorite. Chicken. I love them. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Hi. Hi, little mister. <laughs> Haven't they That's grown so one. much? Yeah. So we are uh, rehoming our roosters because we can't have too many roosters, which is unfortunate because they are always the cutest. Nap time. <laughs> It's nap time. Penny, you want to ride? No. She's like, uh, no. You guys can't see her. She's back there. 
You want to go for a ride, Penny Pickle? No. <laughs> That's Sophie, not Penny. My friend gave me the idea that I should try lots of like serpentines. Oh, Penny's coming. Oh. Serpentines and weave around things. So I challenged the girls to go out there and set some weave poles and stuff for me. Hopefully that's what they're doing. are so much harder than I thought they would be. You guys warned us and said never get a gray, and you were right, like, look at this. So, see up here, like, oops, Penny's like, don't show them, Nora. You see that she has these like little tiny ball things on her? Well, Grayfin gets those all over his legs and all over everything. These little, these little teeny tiny like pieces of dirt, Grayfin gets them over every single part of his body and some of them are easy to come off and some are so hard. Like you could brush for hours and you still don't even get them off. Just like what I was trying to do with her, I have to pull them out individually and when you're down there doing it on his feet, it is so hard. Like I can't even believe how hard a gray horse is. We should prank him. We should prank him that I fell off Penny. I've never fallen off Penny before though. Are you gonna fake cry? No, I don't. I have to Is fake that cry. what you were scared of? No, but I should prank him and say I okay. fell off Penny. Go roll and You say should, it. but I'm not gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna. I feel like he wouldn't believe me because she's so like, I don't wanna doesn't do any like crazy bad stuff and we've well, never, I've never fallen off of her. Horses. Yeah, we suck at pranks. Mm -hmm. 
Don't you know the 